canceled due to a camper finding a snake in her sack. How is Kylie, by the way? Good. The doctor said she'll probably keep the leg. Quiet! Oh, God. <laughs> Great. Now I can add hearing loss to my list of camp-related injuries. What? <laughs> Item two. There has been a rash of rule violations, including a thriving black market candy ring and the woodchuck cabin's attempt to flame broil their bunks! On the bright side, at least my CIT knows the proper way to put out an electrical fire. She's my BFFF, best firefighting friend. It's obvious I've become a little too lenient around here, so I've decided to post these. The original Camp Kiki Waka rules. These were written by our founder, the famous fur trader and summer camp enthusiast, Jedediah Swearingen, and many of them still apply today. Except, I hope, for the rule about leech-based medical treatments. <laughs> now, you CITs, it's your job to issue a citation anytime you see a camper break a rule. And any camper that receives three citations must be punished. Remember, rules are the only thing that hold this place together. That and what state inspectors called a dangerous amount of duct tape. <laughs> Five dollar bribes don't go as far as they used to. Hey, kid, don't lean on that railing! <laughs> I guess I should go see if she's okay. Right after I make sure our insurance is up to date. Finally, something at this camp I can excel at. At school, they called me Rule Book Ravi. <laughs> they also called him Joan of Narc, Narc Wahlberg, and Tattle Royale. <laughs> okay. I think they get it. Sheesh, you cannot remember my birthday, but you can remember every insulting nickname I ever had? I feel like I'm forgetting one. <gasps> oh, yeah, they were the wicked snitch of the Upper West Side. <laughs> you gave me that one. And then you told on me. I see your point. 